I've got some great news. In today's episode, we're going to be covering some people and organizations that are doing incredible things around the globe. Let's get started. We all know who Bill Gates is. The Gates Foundation donates billions of dollars every year to different charities and organizations that are helping out the planet. Recently, he invested in an Omni processor. What this does is it's a self-powered water purifying machine that turns waste and sewage into clean drinking water. Bill Gates actually watched all the sewage go into the machine, it turned and boiled for a few minutes, and out came some drinking water. He took a sip and said it was delicious. The Gates Foundation wants to use the Omni processor around the world in order to purify sewage and make it into drinking water. They don't want to sell bottled water, they actually want to take sewage from that area of the world and turn it into fresh water for those people. In some countries of Europe, they've passed a law to not let big grocery stores throw out all their unsold food. In the UK, there's a huge grocery store chain called Tesco. Now 10 of those stores are going to be donating all their unsold food to children's camps and different charities and women's refugee centers. They all need the food. Now it's not rotten, gross food. It's perfectly edible food. They just don't want it seen on the shelf in the stores. But these donations are really going to make an impact for all these organizations and charities. Sundrop Farms is a revolutionary way of farming. They farm in the desert and they don't use any fresh water. How does that work? They convert seawater into fresh water using solar panels. And the solar panels are also used to power their greenhouses to grow their crops. Sundrop Farms wants to be as efficient and organic as possible to grow their fruits and vegetables. They don't use any growth hormones, all their seeds are organic, they don't use harmful sprays, instead they're able to monitor everything in their greenhouses. They can monitor what's in their water, what's in their soil, the temperature of the air, and the humidity. Using this system, they're able to turn desert into farmland. They won't waste any fresh water, and they're very efficient with their resources. They don't use any fossil fuels because everything is powered through solar panels, and they're able to produce high-quality organic fruits and vegetables. Malala is the youngest person on the planet to win a Nobel Prize. She just turned 18. And years ago, she was shot by the Taliban in the head and actually survived. She wrote a book about this experience and it became a number one bestseller. Now, Malala is an incredible human being, a beautiful soul with a very supportive family. Now that she is an adult, that she turned 18, she believes that as an adult, she should speak for all the children. She wants the leaders of the world to invest in books, not bullets. She's working with UNICEF, where they have a $250,000 grant for youth children in Jordan. You can actually be a part of this program and you can donate to her foundation. I'll put a link in the description box below. If you've ever experienced road rage, you'll notice that when people get upset, they slam on their horn or they flash their lights. But how do you thank somebody when you're driving? Maybe they'll let you in and you want to thank them. Well, Motor Mood solves that problem. There's a little happy face that you can stick on the back of your car. Now it is wirelessly controlled, so when somebody lets you in, you want to thank somebody behind you, you press this little button and a happy face lights up. Golf used to be a popular sport in Japan, but nowadays not so popular. There are empty golf courses all over the country, and they're a waste of space. What are they to do with these golf courses? Well, the Kyocera Corporation is planning to put solar panels in all the fairways. Just one of these golf courses could turn into a 23 megawatt solar farm. That's a great way to use a waste of space and turn it into something productive. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed and felt inspired. There's amazing people doing incredible things around the planet, and I'm sure some of you out there are going to be part of this community of incredible people. So if you like this video, click the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, you're only going to get amazing news stories from around the world. So please subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. 
Toyota has just created a hydrogen vehicle called the Mirai. Now the Mirai doesn't take regular fuel like you're used to. It has two fuel tanks that you fill with hydrogen. When that mixes with the oxygen, you get the power that you need to move your vehicle forward.